Tonight with breaking news in Meriden where crews are at the scene of a construction accident. It's happening right now on Research Parkway. News 8 Stephanie Simone live at the scene. Stephanie, what can you tell us? Darren, Aaron, this is really sad. Police say this man was just trying to do his job when a retaining wall here collapsed on him. He was then transported to the hospital. I am now here with Lieutenant Sal Neshi from the Meriden Police Department. Lieutenant Neshi, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, if you could just explain how this transpired. Well, this afternoon, the Meriden Police Department received a uh, 911 call here at about 311. Uh, Meriden Fire Department, along with the Police Department, EMS, Hunter's Ambulance, responded on scene for a male construction worker that was pinned underneath a uh, concrete retaining wall. He was pinned against a uh, what appears to be a dump truck. Uh, on arrival, he was extricated and taken to Midstate uh, Medical Center, and then he was flown to Hartford Hospital for his injuries. Uh, apparently, what it looks like is that they were digging along the side of the retaining wall to extend curbing. Uh, along that retaining wall. It appears that the retaining wall became unstable and the worker was working alongside the retaining wall and that's when it collapsed and he was pinned. Do you know how he's doing? Currently we do not know what his uh, uh, current condition is. Uh, we'll get an update as the night goes on. However, he was uh, flown to Hartford Hospital by Lifestar. I know a lot of people are thinking about him tonight. Thank you so much, You're Lieutenant Neshi. Now, OSHA is also here on scene. They're investigating exactly how this happened. Police also documenting exactly what happened here on the Research Parkway. You can see they were trying to build a car wash here along the parkway when this horrible accident occurred. Uh, police are investigating it as an industrial accident. And once again, OSHA is on scene trying to figure out exactly what happened. They have not released the name of this worker. We are live in Meriden this afternoon. Stephanie Simone, News 8.